What will happen to me if that which this desire seeks is achieved, and what if it is not? The fool's life is empty of gratitude and full of fears, its course lies wholly toward the future. Stranger, here you do well to tarry, here our highest good is pleasure. There are infinite worlds both like and unlike this world of ours. For the atoms being infinite in number, dot are born on far out into space. My heart is full of fun when I have bread and water. Happiness is man's greatest aim in life. Tranquility and rationality are the cornerstones of happiness. No pleasure is in itself evil, but the things which produce certain pleasures entail annoyances many times greater than the pleasures themselves. A man who causes fear cannot be free from fear. I was not, I have been, I am not, I do not mind. In a philosophical dispute, he gains most who is defeated, since he learns most. He who is not satisfied with a little, is satisfied with nothing. Never say that I have taken it, only that I have given it back. Empty is the argument of the philosopher which does not relieve any human suffering. The misfortune of the wise is better than the prosperity of the fool. Nothing is enough to the man for whom enough is too little. The impassive soul disturbs neither itself nor others. There is no such thing as justice in the abstract, it is merely a compact between men. Vain is the word of that philosopher which does not heal any suffering of man. Virtue consisteth of three parts, temperance, fortitude, and justice. If you would enjoy real freedom, you must be the slave of philosophy. Fortune seldom troubles the wise man. The man least dependent upon the morrow goes to meet the morrow most cheerfully. Let no one delay the study of philosophy while young nor weary of it when old. Some men spend their whole life furnishing for themselves the things proper to life without realizing that at our birth each of us was poured a mortal brew to drink. You don't develop courage by being happy in your relationships every day. You develop it by surviving difficult times and challenging adversity. We must, therefore, Pursue the things that make for happiness, seeing that when happiness is present, we have everything, but when it is absent, we do everything to possess it. The time when you should most of all withdraw into yourself is when you are forced to be in a crowd. The greater the difficulty, the more the glory in surmounting it. Men inflict injuries from hatred, jealousy or contempt, but the wise man masters all these passions by means of reason. If God listened to the prayers of men, all men would quickly have perished. 
for they are forever praying for evil against one another. Don't fear the gods, don't worry about death. What is good is easy to get, and what is terrible is easy to endure. It is folly for a man to pray to the gods for that which he has the power to obtain by himself. God is not to be feared. Death is not to be expected and what is good is easy to get and what is terrible is easy to endure. For the gods exist, since the knowledge about them is obvious. It is not so much our friend's help that helps us, as the confidence of their help. Most men are in a coma when they are at rest and mad when they act. A free life cannot acquire many possessions, because this is not easy to do without servility to mobs or monarchs. It is impossible to live a pleasant life without living wisely and well and justly and it is impossible to live wisely and well and justly without living a pleasant life. A happy and eternal being has no trouble himself and brings no trouble upon any other being. Hence he is exempt from movements of anger and partiality, for every such movement implies weakness. As if they were our own handiwork we place a high value on our characters. Not what we have but what we enjoy, constitutes our abundance. How unhappy are the lives of men! How purblind their hearts! Injustice is not evil in itself but only in the fear and apprehension that one will not escape those who have been set up to punish the offense. He who least needs tomorrow, will most gladly greet tomorrow. The most important consequence of self-sufficiency is freedom. Of all the means to ensure happiness throughout the whole life, by far the most important is the acquisition of friends. Be moderate in order to taste the joys of life in abundance. To eat and drink without a friend is to devour like the lion and the wolf. Necessity is an evil. But there is no necessity for continuing to live subject to necessity. When you die, your mind will be gone even faster than your body.